Hello and welcome to the modcast. I'm Wogi and I'm here with Aminal. Hello. And that's it. <laughs> uh, a dead cast for a dead week. Well, I liked it better when you called it a duo cast. <laughs> yeah, the duo cast. Uh, yeah, uh, Zenrot's gone, doing something else. Penta's half dead. We can't find Coley. Let's assume he's just being a vagrant out wherever he lives. So you have just, to deal with us. Just us, but lucky enough, it's a really easy week today. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the best week ever. We get Turles. Alright, we'll get there, but first let's deal with global stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, global, sure. Yeah, we always have to, even with only two people, still have to talk about global. <sighs> Alright, so global recently got new story stuff, finally. Yeah, finally. We finally got Baba Shop, which means we finally got what was thought to be an SSJ Gohan, but they fixed their screw-up and it's SSJ too. Yeah. Well, in Japan, he's Super Saiyan too, and people thought that they were going to screw up and let him be have a farmable uh, super attack over in Global, which would have been actually pretty interesting. That would have been so hype! Oh. But they fixed it at the last second, I'm going to guess because our specific Reddit just kept saying, oh, his name's wrong, his name's wrong, his name's wrong. <laughs> no, it's just, it's so aggravating because yes, we're right, but stop being right. It's better if you just shut up. Come on! It's true. It would have been a beautiful thing. But yeah, like you said, Baba Shop is here, so now we have um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which is the one to get. Uh, <sighs> so beautiful. Somehow a worse SSR Yamcha than the April Fool's ones. <laughs> hey, 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 he, at he has attack down. And the other ones? Okay, fair enough. At least yeah. this one doesn't... I like his animation, actually, which is just the, the bullet thing from Tree of Might, I think. Oh god, I completely forgot what that's called. It's got a really screwed up name, like the Masanka, whatever the hell that Piccolo yells. Yeah, something like that. It's it's actually a really nice... For the one time I used him, I thought that was actually a really cool looking super attack. Yeah. It's it's weird. Yamcha's like low-key got some of the coolest abilities, but then he's just surrounded by superstars. Yeah. He summons a freaking wolf with just a punch. He's so fat and wolf fang fist. He's got that little energy ball that he can control, and he looks he oddly cool when he's just jabbing two fingers everywhere, controlling it. It's true, yeah. Uh, so we have him in there. We got a Chiaotzu, which just kind of stuns, but isn't really that great at it. Yeah, we have a Chiaotzu. Yeah. I think everyone about knows how that's going to end up. He's yeah. a Chiaotzu. He's a Chiaotzu. Uh, Krillin that can uh, take 50% less damage from physical attacks. Which is alright. Not too bad. Super Strike. Super Strike God. Yes. Very helpful in a Super Strike. And of course, we got some Elder Kai's in there, and uh, all three starters. Which, you, if you want to you get that Goku. Because... Yeah, yeah. Get the Goku because of the Rebirth, which is way down the line. Isn't even on Japan, but it's gonna happen eventually. It's gonna happen eventually. But, um... They added that story mode, so now we have they have crystals in the game, which kind of changes the game a bit, just because now you have a new place to farm. You just don't go to Wayward Champion on Z Hard anymore. <laughs> you actually have a little bit more choices, and also the game is way harder now. Oh my god, I've been farming on 16-4, and Turles is just showing me all the magical ways he can kick my ass. Oh yeah, and he's one of the easier grinds. Ugh, like at, if you're doing the Frieza grind and you're not having a Broly, God, just screwed. It's so tough. It's so ridiculously tough. And in, I actually feel kind of sorry for people who didn't know that this was coming and just assumed that the same difficulty level would apply. No, no, you poor souls. No, it's it's way harder. It's tougher, and you get some free stones to save up uh, for. Um, yeah, on the bright side, the newest welfare check has popped up for free-to-play. I've been cashing in as much as I can. I'm at like 145 stones right now, saving up for what's to come in the future. Whatever it may be, whatever you want to pull on. Most yeah. people are saving it at this point for Super Vegito or something. 
but that doesn't. We've already established that there's some other banners we're pulling on. Like Majin Vegeta, which is just around the corner. Yes. Which, pray, it gets double rates for global. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've already pretty much touched all that we can for this global. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, global got its hand out. We've got Piccolo Jr. that went live today. We're getting some. St- like uh, King Vegeta was just on, so you can farm him for when his Super Strike eventually comes. Mm. But double rates and the rebirths. Oh my god, the entire sub's just going to burn to the ground if we don't get double rates in global. It's kind of sad, yeah. It actually probably will happen. It will be similar <laughs> to the case of the Gogeta Apocalypse, where just every post will rain down from above talking about this <laughs> one subject. Global boy, glow bad. <laughs> oh god, Aww. it's gonna happen again. Hopefully, it all goes good for them. Uh, I think that's basically the last thing to touch on, unless we want to actually try and figure out what the hell's going on in the story. <sighs> like, I don't know what's going on in the story because I play in Japan, but even when I played in English, I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going on in the story. I okay, so there's this big time distortion thing basically the fucking time itself got a giant gaping wound and shit's just flying out of it into a single timeline that's just an amalgamation of all the strongest assholes to ever exist and it all equates just down to a giant boss rush basically yeah like monster of the week here's turles here's frieza here's cell now kick all their asses what do you gain well ginyu goku <laughs> Yeah, it's like, what, three chapters of Goku screwing around his Ginyu? He gets nothing done. No, in Japan, I always assumed that everyone thought that that was Goku, just simply because, like, there was no dialogue to suggest otherwise. I know for, I know Yajirobe thinks that it's actually Goku. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yajirobe, well, Yajirobe thinks that because Goku offered him food. Okay, that's canon. That's just, (laughs) that's just how Yajirobe do it. That is so canon, it hurts. But, yeah, beyond that, it's just a giant shit show. It's just people punching each other. Like, like the entire Ginyu Force with Bardock team somehow is as strong as Trunks. <laughs> somehow? That's just because of color coordination. That's just teamwork. Like, look at you, you've only got one part of the rainbow, we cover all parts of it. We've got you beat, kid. And Drunks doesn't even want to go Super Saiyan for some reason. <sighs> Daddy issues are at an all-time high, too. Yeah, of course. That's uh, that's the other thing I'm also pretty positive on, is that there's something going on with Vegeta and him. <laughs> there's always... Notice me, shut up! Yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> that, I wanted to touch down on what was going on. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, so yeah, Trunks' daddy issues a size and screw up story. Uh, let's let's get past this to the real meat of this. To where welfare I, check. To the uh, to the Japan side, which I think blew both you and Nurse up for different reasons. Oh, it was so good. You for you it was. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was just on Skype out of nowhere. A Caesar's dog advertisement just showed up for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking funniest thing. All right, um, so Turles finally got a tur. Oh my god, it's finally happened. Oh, I've been low key dreaming of this day. Pretty much ever since I first discovered rebirths. I thought to myself, what's one unit, what's one guy who has only one unit in the gacha mm-hmm. and pretty much can get boosted up and will be pretty much completely healthy for the game. And oddly enough, not just because he's one of my favorite characters, Turles came to mind. Yeah. And now he's just broken. He's, oh, he's just overpowered as hell. He... It's crazy how amazing he is now. Let's start off by just saying, like, uh, also, um, 
the Super Strike for what's his face came out. Um, oh yeah, Chilled. Chilled, which is good. You should farm him if you are having some trouble with Super Saiyan Goku. Do that. But back to Turtles. LR, yeah. yeah. LR Super Saiyan Goku. Chilled has a twelve percent nuking passive now. Yeah. And he's int. So with this, it's gonna be actually pretty easy to beat him now. Oh yeah. So so definitely go and do that. But back to the man of the hour, Turtles, coming back, bringing the rates, bringing everything back with him. He <sighs> now has a plus three key for villain teams and to be fair tech already kind of had that but good luck getting him at this point yeah because he was world tournament exclusive <laughs> so so now if you have tr any trouble the, the one of the hardest events in this entire game is the villains event mm -hmm. uh, which is where you only have to use villains and it's tough i say because Usually, most people don't have that many good villains. And more than that, they don't have a good key lead. But now, they have a guy who is one of the best key batteries in the game, if not the best. Oh yeah, he can definitely um, help them up in such an amazing way, now that he has plus three key. He can give it to them. And then his uh, passive also gives key, right? Or am I thinking yeah, his, um his passive gives... Okay, the reason he's so good is because even back in the day, Turles was considered top 10 because he was the first real inkling we got of a key inflation meta. That's true. Where you could just shove him into the team and suddenly you could super without even thinking about it. And that was even before we're ready for war or pre prepared for battle as it is now. Mm -hmm. That's even before it was the phenom link skill where it's just everywhere that it is now. So he's plus three key as a lead. And he gives plus three key rainbow on passive to everyone in the line. And he gives, I thought the 20% additional attack was like tech go tanks, mm -hmm. like uh, the Dokkan one. It just gives it to him. No, it's, it's Vegito passive. Yeah. Which is amazing. <laughs> so he gives plus three key to allies and plus 20% for total plus three key to allies and plus 20% attack. Plus, he can stun. And he, he has a 50% stun rate! Which is not shabby. That's about the same you have with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. That's... He was the original, one of the original stunners as well. Yeah, Turles was the original stun lock character. You went to him when you wanted to... Uh, him and Tequis were the ones you went to That's when cool. Broly first came out and you wanted to cheese him. Yeah, this was before we found out General Blue had the stupid high chance. Oh yeah, that's that's but that's a different. <laughs> that's that's a, a different... completely different side of the yeah. story. Yes, it is. Uh, but yeah, his rebirth is just amazing. And the crazier thing is, is that um, they didn't tell us anything about it. No, this came out of the fucking blue. Yeah, it came out of the fucking blue. Like um, they should when they showed um. Oh, we should probably also talk about this. When they showed Buhan, they showed uh, the perfect team to go with him, which was which is amazing in its own right because it's Ultimate Gohan, Demigra, Turles, General Blue. It has three stunners on it. Yeah, and I I don't remember who the last one on was it on that team. It was I don't remember, but the point was they showed him on there and he was undokoned. And then we get that image and we go like, oh, that's the perfect int team. That's weird for them to use it. But then, boom, Turtles comes out with a... Uh, T-U-R. Yeah, a T-U-R, Rebirth. And now you're like, oh, hell yeah, you use him on that team. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, you use him on any team. Any team you can find. It's actually kind of a shame that um, Rain he uh, his Rebirth came before we stopped using Rebirth. Uh, I mean, stopped using Rainbow with Gogeta. <laughs> Just because he would have been super helpful in those teams, especially since I didn't have any uh, good ints for those teams usually. Yeah, he's he's shoe in for best int in the game now. I think that's actually pretty safe to say. Like, I, d I can't really think of anyone that does what he does as a character or as an int character to even make it narrower. Yeah, it's it's tough to think about. Like before this, the best int character was maybe that Super Saiyan two Gohan. Ah, Just because of pure beat stick and because he had the links to go with everyone. 
No, no, no. I don't want to say it was him. I think, like, if you go purely off free-to-play, yeah, he was the best end. Yeah. But from Gotcha? Oh, Janemba. That's the yeah. next, the other person on the old, the, the Gohan, on the Buhan team. Yeah. It's Janemba. Yeah. Man. Hell, I can't remember another good end card, but I know there is one. They, that's they, they like so about. totally exist. It's just so <laughs> hard to think of them. Because they haven't mattered for so long. Yeah. Uh. But hopefully, uh, things will change. So, um, I'll also say it's great to have the double rates back as well. That was a nice thing to yeah, have. Yeah, that was, that was the other half to this. We got probably the best non-AOE TUR to come out in the game. Uh, like, just not including those crazy bastards, Vegito, Gogeta, no, th- not, not including those guys, the yeah. Dokkan event ones. Of course. And he came back with, like, 13% rates. Which is amazing. For the first nice. time, I did single rates and got an SS. I did single pulls and got an actual SSR, <laughs> which is a great feeling because it never happens for me. <sighs> yeah, it's you're just sitting over, just like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is a good banner. This is a good banner. Thirteen percent rates. I'm okay with this. Keep this forever. We want it to last forever, but we know eventually we're going back down. But we should uh-huh. enjoy it while we can. Oh, yeah, like, this is... Unless you're poor, Zenrot. <laughs> Rest oh in my... peace, Zenrot. I feel so fucking bad for Zenrot, because, like, I'm on the exact opposite spectrum from him. He's a guy who, in my mind, spends too much on this game, whereas to him, I'm probably someone who aggressively looks to not spend money on this game. So, I'm over here budgeting, and, like, I got my reading glasses on. I'm just like, okay, I gotta carry the two here. I gotta make sure I got stones for this. I gotta carry that. World tournament's here. I gotta save ten stones for that, because... And, 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 like, I'm crunching all these numbers, and he's just, like, gonna shovel, th- just throwing stones over his shoulder at the banners. And they reward him with some of the worst dupes I've seen. I... Poor guy. I'm... Um, just... If you're if you somehow are listening to this and not already angry at us, <laughs> we we heart goes out to you. I'm I'm so sorry for you people, but let this be a let, let this be a goddamn lesson to every person listening to this and got this far with just the both of us talking. Don't get caught up on in rates. Don't. It doesn't matter how good they are. You can still get bad SSRs and you can yeah. still get screwed. RNG can still hurt you in a bad way. You can still end up like Xenorant pulling three physical Piccolos and two physical Majin Boos. You can, and I'm talking about good Boo, not the Dokkan Fest one. Yeah, 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 of course. Even I got, like, a, like a, even for the limited times of pull I've pulled, I've technically gotten, like, one amazing, which was the Xeno Trunks, and then I got a, f- a physical Piccolo and <laughs> the Rebirth Trunks, which is also an intelligent unit that I occasionally forget exists. <laughs> he has prepared for battle when he rebirths, so hooray for that. He has a hooray for that, but it's a definitely a pull where you go, huh. Yeah, mm. Could be worse. Yeah, I guess. I'll, I'll take this one. <laughs> could be worse. You uh, didn't screw me too hard this time, game, and I thank you for that. No Maju. Oh. Some other actual Japanese stuff that I just remembered is that we finally got confirmation that Buhan and Omega Shenron will be the, the intelligent leaders and the STR leaders. Yeah, for the uh, new god tier Dokkan Fest. And did anyone see Omega Shenron coming? I think we, all of us kind of got blindsided by it because we all assumed it would just be Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Yeah, like either SSJ 4 Goku or like some people were even saying SSJ 4 Gogeta or stuff like that. Buhan was on the exact opposite spectrum. Everyone thought he was going to be the end leader. They're like, he has to be. And they were dead on the money. Yeah. That one we got pretty good. That one was like, that one just made a lot of sense. Yeah, it's, it like... it's Buhan. He, has, he isn't out yet. You have this brand spanking, new game breaking, Dokkan Fest archetype. And toss him out and make money. Exactly. It's, it's, a good, it's a good move. The Omega Shenron one, though, that's an interesting choice to say it lightly 
<laughs> we should say we don't know what these guys' uh, passives or link or skills links. are. Yeah. yeah, this could be the big break for either one of them. We just know the units that will go in the team. And just by looking at, uh, let's say, Buhan, it makes it feels like he'll link decent enough with the uh, ints that are out there. Like, I still like the theory that because he has a Saiyan inside him, he'll probably get some Saiyan links. <laughs> the thing is, I don't really want him to have Saiyan links because that bumps out other links he can have. It's true, stuff like wall looming and... No, not even just that. Like, Majin. I look at his team and I see Turles and I see Int Gohan. So I say to myself, if this guy has prepared for battle and shock in speed, mm. it's incredible. Yeah. Like, no, that that's the incredible. I think that's the Saiyan link I'm thinking of because prepared for battle is a Saiyan link. Only Saiyans have it, right? Yeah. Like him getting that or shocking speed, and he should be pretty good. No. Like, One or the other, honestly. Yeah. Both. It's even better. Yes. And then the rest can be whatever the hell they want it to be as long as it doesn't complete. Like, he has to have Majin. There's, like, no way around it. <laughs> yeah, he, he is a Boo unit, so there are certain units he has to have. Yeah. Like, probably Metamorphosis, Majin, stuff like that. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably have stuff like that. Uh, he'll link fine with them. It's when you look at um, Omega Shenron, you kind of go, like, I don't understand. Especially because the uh, STR people that they showed in the team were like Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta they all were over in a flash units and so everyone's just I've talked to a few people like Zenrot Toaster, I've talked to a few people even in the discord and everyone's just like ah, he might. Make, it doesn't make sense for him to have over in a flash I'm like he, it, it doesn't matter if he doesn't make sense it, it, he needs it yeah, that, that that's, we're finally at an impasse where it's like, if you want this lead to work, he kind of needs over in a flash. <laughs> like, you don't just make a team comprising of, like, Gogeta and the two best SSJ3s in the game and not give him over in a flash as a leader. <laughs> you don't do that. No, especially because it feels like he would suffer in links because he doesn't, I don't think he would link very well. Uh, cause he won't have Golden Warrior, obviously. He can't have Prepared for Battle. At best, he could have Shocking Speed, but none of them have Shocking Speed. Yeah, so it's like, over to Flash kind of makes sense. He's probably gonna have something akin to Big Bad Bosses. GT is a shoe in because GT character. Yeah. The only way I could see him, if he doesn't have those key links, he has to have something similar to the, um, Physical Goku and, and uh, Ultimate Gohan, where he just launches his key at seven. It, it, he launches his super at seven key. Yeah. Because that's the only way you. Or his passive has to do something like give him plus something key. Because that's the only way he works in that team and doesn't bring it down. And even then, if he has that, comparing him to the other god tier leaders like Gotenks, Vegito, and uh, Broly, he's kind of a bit lukewarm. Because if he's just a glorified int ultimate Gohan, <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah. Well, and well, not, don't give him the Kamehameha, Kamehameha skill or whatever. Like they, they're gonna have to do something. And to be fair, every one of these leaders have come out with like a for their own intents and purpose broken uh, yeah. other things. It's like it's not just the passive. Like Super Vegito counters crazy. Gotenks has stupid crazy. Uh, he has three supers? He has three supers. Broly literally supers twice. <laughs> I'll never get over that. Like, he literally... Yeah, that's amazing. I I don't know what they would give him, but it's safe to say that they're going to give him something that's different from every other unit. What it is, we don't know. He, For all we know, he could literally just do the thing where it's like every damage he does, he just regains... 100% of that, like, that health back or something. I don't know. It has to be... <laughs> actually, that probably... That would sense. actually be crazy. Like, 100% life leech? Yeah, 100% life leech would be ridiculous. I actually think <laughs> that would probably go with the Majin better than Omega, but... <laughs> Let's forget that. We need to make these characters broken somehow. We need yes. to make money. They need to make money. That's... Because I've already seen plenty of people. Like, there obviously are fans of GT that will gladly go for him. But for everyone else, that kind of killed the STR lead for them. No, yeah, of course. Like, 
the hype died with Omega Shenron. Oh my god, SSJ4 Goku, yeah, I get to have a really cool unit and Super Saiyan, yeah, he's gonna, like, oh, no, oh, no, no. And from there, like, I don't know how, we also don't know how far away these units are, but I kind of hope it's a bit away. Because if these come out, like, a week from now, things are looking pretty grim. Oh, uh, this is, Japan is being so... So heavy-handed with their content right now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I was crying for Rhyme Style when he was just like, "Yeah, yeah, I was gonna make some videos," and then like Go Tanks came out two days later, and I was still in the middle of making videos for Vegito, and I was like, "Oh, you poor soul." Yeah, that's it. It's they need to slow it down a bit. They need <laughs> they need to throw up some more like um. Some story events. Bring out Slugman. Bring out World Strongest. Let me fight the the, the brain in a jar. <laughs> Where's Garlic Jr.? Get him whatever the hell he is. Let me just <laughs> calm down and do some silly events for a bit. Screw it. Just, like, bring back a new event where, like, we can get a free Super Saiyan Bardock where it's a continuation of that. Like, just do something. Do something new. Oh, man, that was a real bummer, actually, when they brought back Bardock and there was nothing changed. Yeah, it was just, oh, congratulations, now you can go beat the hell out of Discount Frieza. Man, you can get a Discount Frieza, you can get a worse version of Prince Vegeta that's harder to get, <laughs> and also the other guy, which chilled. I keep forgetting his name. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> such a terrible, terrible time for Japan, because yeah. they have such high-quality events, but they're just too tightly condensed. Yeah. It's like, it's literally the best, worst problem. You're getting everything you want, but it's too fast. Exactly. And they need to pace themselves better or else. Unless they're heading towards the end game, in which case, we should also still be worried. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they're speeding up because, like, this is what happens, like, when you're about to die, your, heart, like, your heart's just, like, beating fastly, then it's flat mine. Yeah. Well, let's up. We'll see what's up. As always, we don't know what's going on. All we can do is kind of wait week to week and see what's going on. And rampantly speculate. As always. All right. But what do you want? What do you want to happen in the future? What would I want to happen? Uh, I want more just weird units. Like, they already have B-Pan, so that's one step in the right direction for me. Oh, the perfect direction. Yes. I want... Or... I still want, like, um... weird characters that, like, no one would think of. I still want Fireman Goku. <laughs> I still want, um... I think a really funny thing would be if they... If, like, these would be free, like, units or some in some way. But if they were able to make the, um... GT wanted poster versions of the characters. Like if it, if you remember, there's like a scene in GT where they look at wanted posters of themselves, and there's just like evil <laughs> versions of them out there. If they were to release them and make those like extreme villains or something, I think that would be really funny, and I would really appreciate it. <sighs> like that's the kind of stuff I want. I want them to explore the entirety of the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and now Dragon Ball Super like story and stuff like yeah. I want I would even want Neko Majin which isn't technically even a part of this canon at all yeah, yeah that's you're, you're reaching out there now but even I would want that yeah it's it's goofy stuff that's what I like because <sighs> Dragon Ball is pretty goofy one thing I would want and I've been thinking about this and it's good you bring up the stuff where you want goofy cards and it's I come from other games like Soccer Spirits mm -hmm. and they have you you probably have no idea what the hell that is. But it has a system where you can get a card. But they don't make two cards the same. They try not to do that. Because they don't like direct upgrades. Unless it's like a legendary. Which is... To compare it to something in Dokkan. A legendary in SS would be like Vegito. Hmm. Where it's like Vegito is a direct upgrade to Agility Frieza. Hmm. Okay. Like that sort of thing. So... What they do in that is, since they don't want to make two cards the same, unless it's in a specific instance, they just make skins. Mm. So something I would really like is events where you could farm it, and similar to a Baba shop, you could buy a skin and just change how a character looks, and change how their super looks. 
Yeah. Oh my god, that would actually be really cool. Like you could change, like you that fireman Goku. Why not? Why make that a specific card, and you can just like change what another good Goku looks like. So like all my kid Gokus would just look like a fireman. Yeah, like you could change a specific or old, like yeah, old kid Gokus. You could change them to look like fireman Goku. Since we have that specific name system, mm-hmm. you can make it work with any of them. So, like you can make LR Goku look like something completely different. That would actually be really cool to have. The I would like that, like the overview thing, but especially for uh, super attacks, just because so many characters have so many difference, so many uh, great special attacks are used on first form Dokans and then never seen again. Yeah, it's it's the bad part to it is they've tied specific animations to links. Like it would make no sense for a character to use a Kamehameha attack without having that specific link. Oh yeah. So they've kind of worked themselves into a corner, but it can still work. Yeah, it would also be really funny if I just made all Gokus who knew Kamehameha always be the family one. So, <laughs> so no matter what, he always summoned a Goten and a Gohan from out of nowhere. Like, There's some really, really good animations out there, and having them tied to a certain unit seems like such wasted potential because if you give us the chance to get those specific animations for other units everyone will want to do it well borderline everyone because it's a chance we've never had before yeah yeah definitely and it's something different to put in the game as well yeah, it's like, a, something new we'll to grind for it. yeah it's, some, it's something to grind for but at least it's it, it, it's not inflating the game with cards is the thing yeah yeah, it's not making it too meaty or whatever. It's just like, oh hey, you want this Fireman Goku? Well, guess what? You have to pull till you get him, and if you don't, screw you. Or they <laughs> release B Pan and make her stupid, ridiculous to get. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of okay with that. The chosen mm. few will be chosen by the waifu. <laughs> the very few chosen. All right, man. I think that's about it, though. I think that's all we've got for today. It's a pretty light week, so hopefully more stuff comes out. Yeah, like, as a recap, Turles is amazing, and if you have the balls to pull for him, go for it. But please, show restraint. Yes, always have some form of restraint. Chances are, by the time this goes up, the Turles event will be gone, just because of the way (laughs) these usually come out. (laughs) Damn it! Yes, yeah, so we can't warn you. We're unfortunately this is a message from the present sent to the future that's currently their past. Uh, this is why I hate, oh God, this, I hate timelines. I feel yeah. like why can't I just be future trunks and go back and like have someone about to tap their credit card to buy stones, like grab their hand. No, don't do this. You're going to get physical piccolo. Because then you have to end up working for Supreme Kai of Time. She's a cutie. All right, and I think that's basically all we could say on the matter. <laughs> she like, come on. <laughs> all right, that uh, this is us too, the duo cast. Uh, yeah, the duo cast. Th- we've covered all we can. This is now. It's up to the rest of you. Go with God. Good luck. Signing off. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>